what is up you guys i'm out here on lake marble falls gonna do a little fishing might get a little wet it's supposed to rain i feel it drizzling already the wind's supposed to get a little cool as well so i didn't bring a jacket either way i'm gonna come out here just for a little bit have a little fun try and see if i can't give me a few fish at least before it starts getting too crazy and i gotta get off of course it was a full moon last night but i don't know how much it was out because it was cloudy all night as well so maybe hopefully i can get on some fish either way stay tuned i'll show y'all what i can do today i'm gonna start out here <clears throat> by these rock ledges it gets really deep really fast the last time i was out here they were pretty stacked up along this these rocks so i'm gonna try and see if maybe Throwing a lipless crankbait, little red eye shad, and I'm gonna see maybe if I can find anything back out here again. Without getting stuck on these rocks. Because they were out here pretty stacked. <clears throat> there was largemouth and white bass in this area so i'm gonna see maybe hopefully i can get maybe one or the other today nice and windy little storm coming in so I'm not gonna be able to fish very long but i'm gonna try and do what I can in this little time that I'm gonna have before it starts getting too crazy on me out here. Not had very much luck with the lipless, so I switched to something a little more subtle, a little more no action. Ned rig. <laughs> All else fails. Hop on the Ned. Ned head. Get a little worm on it. In the same spot, pretty much working these rocks and these ledges here. They go from 10, 6, 10 to 30, 20 all over the place as far as the drops go on these on this ledges over here so there's just so many spots for these fish to be hiding just so many spots that's why i decided to switch to the ned it's got a little it can get in those little crevices and can get uh into those little tight spots of course using the spin cast got my alpha inshore leviathan rod and my megatron cast king uh, spin cast reel try my luck to see what i can get with this guy tossing around a little old ned see where i'm at in those rocks here just went from 20 feet to seven feet I'll show you what I'm using I'm using a little TRD turd worm with a little chartreuse water's got I don't know a little clear bit a little clarity to it but of course the way that it drops like it does I like that little chartreuse on it to kind of stand out so that way it definitely catches their eyes and gets their attention I'm running out of leader on this line. I think I have maybe five inches of the leader left on this line. For I've got braided main line. I think it's like 12 pound to a mono. Oh, I got a fish, you guys. I got something. I got something on it. 
found you. One interested. Oh. see this it's a decent sized fish he's putting up a oh he come off he come off right at the boat either way quick catch and release no biggie <laughs> right at the boat I'll have another chance. I switched to another spot over here. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. I just switched to another spot over here. And I got me another taker. Oh my goodness. I don't want to lose it. Yeah, bust out the net now and earlier I didn't even have it. Look at this, you guys. This is a beautiful fat Guadalupe bass. Very beautiful fish. Look at that. On the net rig, just a little subtle, no action. And that is a very, very, very beautiful Guadalupe bass. Look at that. Wow, the colors, the spots. Some would call it a smallmouth, but in Texas, that's what you call a beautiful, beautiful Guadalupe bass. That was awesome. Got the net on him. Got the net ready. Of course, this is the casking net. All right, you can get a few pictures and let them go. Alrighty, you guys, I'm about to switch spots. I'm about to start using this awesome looking all purpose jig by Phoenix Baits with a nice looking craw from Tin Man Plastics. Very, very juicy looking setup here. What I do, the craw is about maybe this long, and I bite it down to size to fit this little hook. You guys can tell this jig. It's a very, very small jig. It's a half, a half ounce jig. Another thing that I do to get the profile a little smaller, I'll get that weed guard and I will trim that weed guard about almost where that hook is at and try and give it a little more finesse look to it. So it's got a little smaller profile look to it sometimes I'll trim the skirt but I'm gonna try it just like this with the weed guard down and look how juicy this little guy looks that is awesome alrighty stay tuned Well, it was a freaking grind. Taking my boat out of the water now. Ran out of battery on my GoPro, so I was charging it as I was fishing. I guess I caught maybe three fish altogether. Using the Ned Rig. The only thing I can get them to eat is a freaking net rig. <laughs> it's crazy. Either way, it was a good day on the water. Anytime on the water is always fun. I'm going to strap the boat down, get to the house. And then I'll, uh, I guess I'll show you all a little bit more on what I was using and how I was fishing it. If For those of you that don't know about the net rig. Either way. I will see y'all again. Okay, so I'm back at the house. I'm gonna just 
share with you guys a little bit about my boat. It is a mess. It has been a while since I've gone through and organized my stuff. So everything's going to be all over the place, but I'm going to share it with you all anyways. This little area is pretty much when I am done with a lure and I don't want to be messing with tackle boxes I pretty much throw everything in this one little area that's even brand new hooks too <laughs> some string then I've got my liquid mayhems and of course more little baits down there heck I even got a brand new strike king Oh, this is the uh, vibrating jig that I got in my mystery, master, uh, my monster bass box. Then I've got a few other stuff there. So that's where I'm starting. Look at this mess. Yeah, eventually I take them apart and I put them in a tackle box. But for now, since I just got off the water, that's where they stay. And then. As you can see, I have a seat. Every now and then I'll use it. I don't use it all the time. I've got. Uh, gotta stay hydrated. Some scissors. This is pretty much what I was. what I started with today. And I'll show y'all what I ended with got more baits laying around over here my scale my little my pliers and this area over here I have life jackets some towels aerators there's a measuring Actually, the measuring boards for uh, the fish. There's an anchor as well. My boat is not very big, <clears throat> and it is a big mess. This guy here. This is my rod locker. I actually have. A lot of my rods out of this guy. Let's see how many I have in here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Currently have seven rods in this guy here. I don't know if y'all can make that out or not. It's a little dark in my garage. Shine some light on the subject. There you go. How many did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them in there. There's a capstan and a Mr. Bassinator and Speed Demon Pro, Royal Legend Elite, two of them. My Assassin is in there. My Royal Legend number two is in there. Just a few of them that are in there. Then I have these guys here. I don't think I need the light anymore. <laughs> little perch live target bait there. This is normally where I put my wallet, my keys and stuff whenever I put the boat in the water. But I currently have it filled with lot of baits <laughs> I don't know where I can put this light without it messing up my GoPro for some reason my GoPro is going crazy with this light so I've got some rage crawls got two packs of rage crawls 
got some zooms. I don't even know why those plastics are in here. Got a little strike key. Got a jerk bait. <clears throat> Another jerk bait from Strike King. Got some Rage Crawl chunks. These, these are actually the smaller uh, Rage Crawl version. Good, perfect for trailers on the uh, jigs. Rashad, Rashad. I actually don't even know where I got these from. Got some more. These are actually Rage Crawl, the Rage Baby Menace. Got a blade bait. Some more Rage Crawl. <laughs> Golly. Got some Phoenix Bates jigs. Got another Strike King lipless. Got these Strike King frogs that go on the buzz bait. Got a prop frog from this Lunker Hunt. Got another jerk bait from Jinko. More little little swim baits. It's another look at that guy. That is a Strike King 3XD. Nice looking snacks. Gotta have your snacks. Gotta have my Reese's chocolate and peanuts. Got another Jinko crankbait here, C D20. It's a good deep diving crankbait there. Got the Booyah uh, frog with the spin tail, dark sleeper, lucky craft, uh, a little clear looking crankbait. Got another deep diver <clears throat> jerk bait from Strike King. Some jig heads. Got some hooks in here. Bitter bait from Phoenix Baits. Got some yum crawls. These are Jersey Devil Bait crawls as well. I'm just all over the place, you guys. Yeah, Jersey Devil Bait crawls. Some copolymer string. Another booyah bait, little frog. <laughs> Another dark sleeper. Johnson and Johnson. Don't have. It's a little. My little uh, first aid kit, band aids, whatever. Anyways, little weighted swim bait hook. <laughs> Another dark sleeper. Wow, I didn't even know I had this in here. This bro swim bait. Hmm. And this spoon by Johnson. This is a, uh, a weedless style spoon. It's got the little weed guard barb on there. Yeah, that's just in this little supposed to be compartment for my keys and my wallet and my phone and yeah I think uh, I may have a little problem with buying bait but don't judge me because I'm a fisherman I even got woo tungsten weight in there I didn't see that throwing stuff out of their knees. <coughs> of course. We're all still in the packages. Gotta have your safeties. Kids in a boat. Over. Up here. This guy is jam-packed with plastics. I mean jam-packed. Got a couple of towels. Uh, some of them are situated. Some of them are just like this in there. Got these guys. This is actually uh, Phoenix Baits. This has got spinner baits, jigs, vibrating jigs, all kinds of stuff in there. 
next to my bag with uh, Ned worms for my Ned rig setups. Some more crawls. Googling crap. More Googling crap. Jersey Devils. Just some zooms. These are baby brush hogs. Some uh, Cheeto floating worms from Bass Pro. Yeah, these guys, I need to get these situated and put them in their bags they're supposed to be in. Looks more flukes. Alrighty. So these are actually the situated ones. <laughs> All that junk I just pulled out of it, except for the mid bag, need to be put into bags. So I got me my bag of flukes here. Got some flick shake worms in that one. Oh, here's another. These are Jersey bait uh, frogs that needs to be situated. And these are my chunks, my trailer chunks for jigs or spinner baits or whatever you can put a trailer on. These are pretty much all for trailers. These are my crawls. Pretty much every kind of crawl you can think of. Trick worms. These are a bag of tubes. This is a bag of Cinco's. A pretty big bag. I've got a crap load of Cinco's. Alright, get out of here, Mr. Cinco. These are a bag of air tail worms. A whole bag of air tail worms. This is a bag of big 10, 12 inch or plus size worms. Ma Magnum worms, pretty much. And I got here, these are small U-tail worms. Big old bag full of small U-tail worms. This guy here is a big U-tail worms. This is a large, a bag full of large U-tail worms. Here, drop shot. Uh, these are drop shot uh, baits, bag full of drop shot stuff. And then I have here, these are bag a bag of brush hogs. Nothing but brush hogs, pretty much. Yeah. Talk about plastics. Who's got plastics? I have got a buttload of plastics. I need to situate as well. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you that's probably 30, 40 pounds plus of bags of plastic. Bags. Moving on. <laughs> Across the way, we have. Mixture of both terminal tackle and you got terminal tackle stuff, more terminal tackle, more terminal tackle, pretty much all kinds of jig heads, weights, off the hooks, got uh, crane bait and stuff. Got a mixture of top water, crank baits. Square bills, another one full of top water, crankbaits, mixture of everything. This is I've got jerk baits, crankbaits, jigs, vibrating jigs, and of course some trolling rod holders. That is my tackle holder. Terminal tackle and all of the above. Alrighty. Well, that alone, showing you all that, <laughs> took up some time. <laughs> My skiff is a mess. I need to clean it up. Alright. 
either way that's what i wanted to share with y'all show you all my little pro craft skiff <laughs> a little boat not organized at all i need to spend a day to get my stuff all situated and organized either way thank you guys for watching i will definitely come out with more content no it's been a while since i've made anything i apologize been crazy and busy busy and lazy i guess either way thank y'all for watching tight lines please please subscribe and hit that bell so that we all get notified when i make another one thank y'all